of thinking to to actually put out great music mm-hmm. and and to to write it to where people feel it and hear the, what the message that you're trying to send. And unfortunately, like you know, some of the things that I was telling my son yeah. is like you live in a day and age where everything you do is going to be on this huge database for oh, the yeah. rest of your life. Oh yeah, and you're gonna say- have to. Yeah, mm-hmm. and your kids are going to hear this yeah. someday, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, when, <laughs> when we were younger doing all our stupid shit, nobody had, you know, cameras and, and was None recording now, you. And, yeah, now, now you're stuck right with it there, for the rest yeah. of your life. So future employers, yeah. everything, yeah. you really got to watch it. So I don't know. I'm glad I own my own business. <laughs> <laughs> for real, like, because I see people all the time like, oh, you know, such and such on Facebook, you know, my, 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 my boss can see this. And I'm like... It's your life, like you know right. what I mean, like. Yeah. But I guess if you if you're out here getting drunk and then the next day you plan on calling in, <laughs> and you putting it on Facebook, that's different, you know. So yeah, I, if your if your profile pic is you ass up naked in the snow, <laughs> and then you try to go in for an interview dressed up, right. all yeah, they all they up. see is your ass in the snow, <laughs> talking to them right now. Up. It's the that's, truth. That's it's, you have to really watch it nowadays. No, if I if I had an actual employer, I I know I wouldn't be able to hold a job. <laughs> Could you imagine them looking at my Facebook? Like, <laughs> holy hell. Well, yeah, man. no, I mean, like, what are, you, what are you actually doing right there, Drew? He's pooping. He's pooping. Well, I'm, I'm, I, that, was, that was a poop pick. <laughs> no, really, I'm, I'm legitimately late because oh, I was, look, I, my post was 20 minutes ago. I was still there. Check it out. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That's it's, life. It's, it's either at my house or at work. You pick it. <laughs> but it's still happening. Now, do, do you? Uh, where does your musical background come from? You had to have been influenced by someone in your family or uh, um, Asia. The, are her parents musicians? Well, anybody? None of our parents are musicians, but they're they're big music lovers. You know, on both sides, my parents and her parents listen to you know everything from jazz, reggae, rock, you know, classic rock, hip hop. Uh, soul, you know, Motown. Yeah, all when of you that. when you were a little kid on the everything. weekends, what was your mom cleaning the house to? Man, everything from. Uh, you know, from Bob Marley to Stevie Wonder, Tony, Tony, Tony. You know, it's just a real, a big variety of music, man. And and that's how come we can be our age and be some of the youngest people at a Sting concert. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So There's nothing wrong with that, though. No, yeah. not at all. You know, we're loving it. But but the other people around us were like, oh, you guys know the words. Like, yeah, we know. That's why we're here. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you do. You guys are very good looking people. I mean, you're young looking. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you guys, you know, how old are you? 35. No way. Yeah. You kidding me? Man, that's why I'm in the gym every day, man. Man, but that doesn't keep the wrinkles off you. Look at me. Hey, I I'm in the in gym every room. day, too. I sit in that steam room for longer than you. <laughs> I got to get out of the dry room and go over to the steam room. <laughs> that's it, man. And, and you know, you're just trying to trying to eat better, you know. Um, there's still certain vegetables I don't like, but, you know, just trying to eat better, I, I guess. Yeah, take care that of helps. yourself. That's it. I, I, I could see Samir at, at the steam concert with the police or whatever. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, uh just that one part. Do 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 do. I mean, that, that's, there's that's Phil Collins. Oh, did I just screw that up? Okay. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna ignore way. Drew now. And no, that's Either way. <laughs> the point is, I'm jamming. There's certain parts of songs that you can't like not get crazy. Hey, Absolutely. I'm jamming. I'm Absolutely. jamming. That's right. That's yeah. right. I can't believe I just screwed that up. That's though. okay. You can edit it. No, you, no you don't. I'm not gonna edit it. <laughs> it's not good. I mean. Sting still got some funky parts in there, man. Matter of fact, he was breaking into some dance hall, and because Sting has has um, this this reggae feel to his music. Well, he's got you know? soul. Yeah, I mean, he and, came from. I mean, the, even when he was in the Police, yeah. if you listen to the Police and you feel that music, yeah, that's yeah. got soul yeah, in it. It definitely does, and it was incredible. It was an incredible show because he had his son with him. Uh, his son played a couple songs, and they, he sounds just like his dad. You know, he just had the guitar up there and just the songs he sang reminded me so much of Sting. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely, I mean, you get influenced yeah. when your parents yeah. are musicians. And I mean, just like you said, like you asked if our parents were musicians and they weren't. But if, you're, if your parent is a musician, a tra- like my, uh, my kids, for example, who knows what they're going to do, you know? Oh, they're going like, to be into it. I've watched your daughter yeah, play handbells. Yeah, yeah, I mean, She's the only one up there playing <laughs> handbells <laughs> like this. Like, Bang. <laughs> <laughs> She's just grooving up there, man. Yeah, we're we're going to need a little more cowbell. <laughs> and that's essentially what she's... Basically. She's, she's the one up there with the biggest... Sm- every other kid is up there. Two, yeah. three, four, and she's, bing, and she's up there. Mm-mm, I got this time. And bam. Damn, damn, yeah, damn. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. And Mike is actually dancing. He's going to break this damn chair in a minute. I wish that was live. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> no, but... And, and, you know, every year, you know, there'll be like a play or some kind of... 
some kind of thing going on at the school, and we're going to watch them, and they're so casual about it. Like I'll open the, the I'll open the the program, and it's like. It's got one of my kids' name as a solo, and I'm like, "What the heck?" Like they didn't even tell me, and they're just up there like. Your daughter did a yeah, solo, yeah. a vocal solo every year, man. Every year she has a solo. Like she's 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 uh, putting in for one right now, and I'm like, "I'm sure you're gonna get it. You've gotten it yeah. the past three years." You know what I mean, she's like, I can't wait to see her start man, stage performing. Yeah, you know, yeah, putting on a show. So a what what do they listen to other than um, obviously? The Reminders. Man, so they listen to The Reminders. Uh, my son, he's a big Kendrick Lamar fan, you know. And nice. Kendrick Lamar is one of the best the best hip-hop artists out right now. Um, they listen to a lot of reggae. There's an artist named Chronix who's incredible. We went to see him last night uh, in Denver. Uh, he played at Cervantes. And <clears throat> let me see, what else they listen to? These guys listen to all kinds of stuff. They listen to a lot of old stuff, man. Um, David Bowie's last album. Nice. Uh, I forget. There's one song. The song, the, the, he had a single that he put a video out. My son was singing. Now, he was watching that before I left the house. That's like his favorite song. Um, They've got more musical culture than man, most I'm adults do. Right yeah, now. and sometimes they, you know, from being on YouTube and things like that, like sometimes they show me some artists I never I never knew existed. Good ones? Yeah, yeah, great, great ones. They're picking them out then. They've man, got good taste. Man, these guys, yeah. Because there's me, a lot of crap keep, out oh, there. Oh, man, yeah. I keep these guys around, man. They keep me keep me focused that's awesome yeah. what's what's in the future for you guys what are what what are the can so, we see you somewhere play perform live yeah, here locally or, or yeah what? um there's still a few events and festivals that we're confirming right now so um i'll definitely keep you guys posted yeah. you know and it's going to be on our website which is the reminders com. we usually put our all our shows there we play in a festival called sonic bloom which is south of pueblo um and there's usually it's a three-day event it's huge it's great all people, different kinds of music. Yeah, or? people camp out there. It's like Woodstock. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Because there, there's one up north called Arise, and then there's Sonic Bloom. We played Arise the past couple of years, and then we're playing Sonic Bloom this time. Um, what a what, cool What's name. the date on that? It's uh, it's in August, the weekend of August 18th, we'll I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's let a cool know. name, Sonic Bloom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me know. We'll stay in touch. Yeah. yeah. We will all roll down there together. Yeah, yeah. Need bodyguards. That's, that's right. What, that's yeah. what it is. You need bodyguards. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be official. That's right. We'll put staff <laughs> staff shirts on. No, it, we, like, we got to stick with the double double barrel oh, doo-doo crew. Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. With, a, with, with just a jacket over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dark sunglasses dark sunglasses yeah nice nice official <laughs> so yeah we'd love to have you come in man we could uh i don't know uh petition to to like a cage park and take the stage up there yeah, yeah. that'd be a lot of fun yeah i mean because i remember uh this is before the reminders we performed at uh acacia park no actually with the reminders we performed at acacia park it was a uh, one of those winter they were they were doing like winter concert series mm-hmm. um and we played an event but it was snow it was a snowstorm and the show still went on <laughs> we still did it. It was like twenty people there. It's the but, homeless people. Yeah. It's all the homeless people. Yeah, there. Just, just trying to get warm in the tent. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that would that would be great, man. If we could do something at, at Acacia Park. Yeah, you know, right in the center of town. Oh man, we can we can we can make that. Oh, we can happen. do it. We can. Shouldn't be too hard to permit that. No, call people. Yeah, I don't think Acacia has not had anybody play there in forever. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I heard. I do because the last time it was it was a. Uh, there's a rapper uh, named Magic, and he he's in a it's a Hispanic rap group. Okay, I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, but they're, they're very popular. Yeah, and they came into town, and um, the entire Acacia Park, Park was yeah. just completely wow. filled. Nice. It, it was a lot of fun. We covered that one. Um, but we could it, we could fill up sure. the park with the reminders fans. We could we could definitely do that. Sure. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, it's I've had people event. blowing me up all over Facebook. Yeah. Like I yeah. love the reminders. Yeah. Fans. Right. Let's do it, everybody knows everybody. And, and, and that, yeah, it's a small town, man. I mean, it, it's growing, but you know, we're all still here. You know, so yeah. we're all connected. But um, I think you know we're we're planning on putting out more music and um, just really trying to take it to that next level. You know, just get over that hump and uh, just get more and more fans, so that when we do do events like uh, Acacia Park, we could pack it up. Yeah, you know, I, I think, think it happened anyway. I yeah. Don't, yeah, I don't think they'd have a problem. Honestly, I mean, between you posting it on your page and it's not a poop pic, people are going to look at it. <laughs> right. They're going to be like, what is this? They He's look not- at the poop <laughs> pics. Don't, don't even play around. You know. <laughs> but, you know, um, usually when we perform in town, we perform at the Gold Room. Um, yeah, that's where you, you know, were last night. Yeah, yeah. And, and we sold it out a couple of times. Where is that? It's right downtown. Um, you know, the Mining Exchange. Okay. Yeah. It's right It's right uh, next, next door to that. Okay. Uh, it's a part of that whole 
Springs Orleans, Mining Exchange, that whole compound. I love that you still do the small venues yeah, 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 and stuff yeah, like that. Because yeah. you guys have played, what's the biggest crowd you've ever played in front of? Uh, we played at a festival in Minnesota called uh, Soundset, and that was 10,000 people. Oof, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Is that part of uh, one of your videos I saw that you guys uh, had? Was it? Maybe. Oh, no, that was that was a, a festival in uh, <clears throat> Trinity International Festival. That looked pretty yeah, big, too. Yeah, that was big. Yeah, we. I mean, we've been fortunate enough to play some pretty big festivals, man, and and then um, and play some pretty big venues as well. Like, but, You guys looked happy, oh, happy, man, happy up there on look. that stage. <laughs> Asia's running oh, around you. Oh, man, just, <laughs> yeah. For, just, for the shy one just, going, ding, ding, yeah, ding, ding, just, and he's like, where are you going, girl? Just, <laughs> loving, loving every second of it, man. I mean, there's nothing like... You know, you create. It's like being here. You're 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 in your house. You're in your basement. You're creating. You're coming up with something, and then the world gets to see it and experience it. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. when you put the podcast out, like you're not in control of who's going to hear it. You know, anybody I could listen we to it. <laughs> right? <laughs> anybody could listen to it and and have their opinion about it. You know what I mean? And so that's what happens when we put the music out. But then when we actually get to share the music live with people and and see their reaction. You get to see their reaction right away. That's when we really feel the happiest. Yeah. But yeah. there's nothing better than a live concert. Right. I mean, nothing. No, you, you if you, you if you haven't been to a concert, you're not living. Right. You haven't heard music. No, you yeah. you're not living. And yeah. and that's that's the thing. That's why like we've been bringing our kids to concerts for as long as they can remember. You know. And, and and even like us taking our kids on tour and things like that, like part of that is just that we didn't have a choice. Right. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we still want to go to the show and we have the kids with us. That's fine. They'll just come with us. Mm-hmm. You know? And before you know it, they're enjoying the show and everything just goes fine. And and um same with being on tour. Sometimes it's like, oh shoot, grandmother's out of town. Nobody's here to watch the kids. Well, we'll just take the kids on tour with us. And it works out. It always works out. But um but being at concerts, man, I mean, we've gone to, you know, R and B concerts, we've gone to plays, you know what I mean? Watching a play is incredible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, like, and I think that's what helps us be better performers. You know, and and it and it'll it raises a better child. Yeah. It really does to give yeah. culture to them. I mean, Lucian goes to he's in the MAP program yeah, every year. He, yeah, he went, yeah. goes to the you know the I think it's Milbo Art Theater. Yeah, is what it is. Just, and he does he does a play once a year, yeah. and he's he's doing chess club and he's doing yeah. the, the handbells. Yeah. All and of stuff that. Like Our that. kids do the same thing. Just yeah. just giving them as much as you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that they can pick whatever they want to do. You know. Like I know some adults who can't play chess, you know. Yeah. Like my kids know how to play chess better than me. Like they had to refresh my memory. Like, no, this one only moves this way. Oh, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you got to have them come over and play Lucian. Man, like he's yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's yeah. into it. He's Straight into up. it. Yeah, Jessica's really good about putting him in and <laughs> everything and getting him, you know, and, and exposed that, and to as much as possible. That's the next step. Like, so they're at the age now where you know they're getting into sports. So just putting them in every sport, and then you can gravitate towards whichever one you want to play. Yeah, see know? which one they latch yeah, on to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna force you to play this because I play this, or you know what I mean? Like, just make your own decision. Well, your kids are are happy kids, man, and yep. it's it's cool to see them reflecting off of you in That's Asia because it. you guys are very happy. We need and to do a, a FaceTime live chess match. Yeah, it, yeah. it's not gonna last long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Lucian beats me now. I, really? I, I I used to be where where I could uh, I could probably win nine out of ten every time. Yeah. and and now I'm like oh, you, you man, could think I'm a couple really... steps ahead, but now they these guys these kids think man the yeah. way they think is crazy. And he's got a little group that, of peers that he plays with, and yeah. they're all every they go to state with the school, yeah. so they're in the, the school chess crazy, club. Man. Are your kids in the school? They chess were club? Uh, the, I think second and third grade. And then now she's not. She's so busy with other stuff yeah. that yeah, you can't keep up. Like I'm, you know, I'm getting them to school early, thirty minutes early, an hour early. <laughs> it's crazy. I know. You know, <laughs> and then they stay an hour yeah. late for this club. Yeah. And that. But it's yeah. an amazing school. The school man, our kids go to. I, so. Man, I, I'm so thankful for it. Yeah, it, it really is. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, we're out of elementary now, so we're <laughs> you. You're, that's yeah. a whole different set of. We're, yeah, we're Lucian's in Lucian's in middle school next year stuff, too. Man. Yeah. God. <sighs> crazy man yeah when you were like yeah i picked up my son and i was blasting the whole time i was thinking what grade is he in now because i remember him as a little guy dude it's wild my, my daughter's 17 oh my, my son's 14 my other son's 12 and uh i mean we're we're, we're at that age you know it like, goes fast some of my friends like uh one of my friend's son plays basketball he's about to go to college he just got signed to cu boulder you know and i'm like 
I remember you were three years old, like crying over, you know what I mean? Not getting a toy. And now you're going to college. Like, it's nuts. I seen you yeah. taking a bath in the sink. Crazy, man. Seriously. I, I, I gave you a bath right. in the sink. Seriously. Now you're dunking on me. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah. Or, you know, I remember I was at uh, uh, Denver Comic Con last year, and one of my friend's kids, she's 16. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing here? 